welcome to the Spring 2017 Indicators Launch and Lunch. Uh, we're here today focused on cost of living and housing and transportation solutions. Uh, my name is Adrian Etherton. I'm the Executive Director of Sustainable San Mateo County. If you got here today by any method other than driving alone, I hope you signed in and got a raffle ticket. Right now is your chance. It's only going to be a couple of minutes away. So if you didn't drive here alone and you want to be in the raffle for the GoPro, go right now and get your raffle ticket. After I wrap up, we'll have Flora present our indicators update, and then we'll get on to the meat of our program, our panel discussion. Uh, Seamus Murphy, uh, SSMC board member and chief communications officer from SAMTRANS is going to be moderating that panel for us in conversation with Don Cecil from SAMCETA and the Peninsula Mobility Group, representing business. Isabella Chu, the founder of Redwood City Forward, representing community advocates, and Peggy Jensen, the deputy county manager from San Mateo County, who is going to be uh, representing the county government and their Home for All program. When we close, we'll have a little bit of extra time for networking and uh, for you to visit with our exhibitors if you can. You guys are probably all familiar by now with the Indicators Report. This is our flagship program. It was started, our first report was produced in 1997 with the uh, philosophy that what gets measured gets managed. And so this is uh, one of the longest running reports of its kind in the country, so far as we know. And we put it together to uh, package up over 40 different indicators and present those to policymakers and the community so we can help uh, make good decisions based on facts for our future. Every year we cover a different key indicator. Um, we, we pick one of those 40 topics and we dive in a little bit deeper and we use that to drive community conversation through these launch events uh, for our key indicator. Cost of living is our key indicator this year and we picked this uh, topic for this year because frankly, it, here in San Mateo County, you can't avoid talking about this topic. We're talking about this just about every day around San Mateo County how expensive housing is, how terrible the commute is, how we need to grow to accommodate our population locally. And so we thought that this was gonna be a great opportunity for us to look at how that's impacting our community and whether there's anything that we can do about it. So um, that's what brings us here today. Uh, at our first event in March, we covered uh, income inequality, uh, jobs and wages, and here today we're focusing on housing and transportation. Uh, later in the fall, we'll have our third and final event, and that's going to be focused on things like education, health care, and quality of life, how uh, all those hours you're sitting in the commute uh, are, are adding to stress and, and uh, health concerns and a number of other things along those lines. So that's what our focus is uh, all throughout this year, and we hope you will continue to follow that. So I want to recognize the folks who helped put this program together. Um, we are led by our program manager, Flora Kaplan, who is uh, managing the program. Uh, printed materials are designed by Ricky McGlashan. Brian Chen is running our city reports, uh, coordinating that with the, the cities uh, and the county doing surveys. Uh, map design by Chris Lamb. Uh, several chart designers, lots of interns and volunteers doing research for us, uh, and then our indicators committee led by David Crabb, uh, who are helping to run the show. Uh, let's go ahead and recognize our sponsors. These are our program sponsors who are supporting the research and work throughout the year. Our platinum sponsors from the County of San Mateo and PG&E, and we have a majority of the cities uh, who are contributing to the gold and silver, at gold and silver sponsorship levels. And then all of you in the room who are individual donors and members are also contributing to our work, uh, helping to make this report possible. So thank you to all of you. Um, I also want to thank our event sponsors. We have several uh, groups who are sponsoring us today. Um, Catered to uh, Certified Green Business here locally has provided the lunch today, so I hope you all enjoyed that and can uh, help recognize them by sending them your business. Um, we also have Commute.org and the Spare the Air resource team. They'll each get a chance to come up here in just a minute. Uh, our hosts here at the Redwood City Library making this fabulous space available for us. All of the speakers and exhibitors who are sharing their time. Uh, Jim Walters, our fabulous volunteer who set up the audio. Uh, Rick Bacigalupi, my favorite videographer, and several volunteers. So uh, it truly does take a village and we really appreciate everybody who has helped to make this possible. 
So let's go ahead and have commute.org uh, tell us a little bit about their work. Thank you. I'm Ken Comstock from commute.org. We are uh, San Mateo County's Transportation Demand Management Agency. We work directly with employers and commuters to help get commuters to use commute alternatives to driving alone, have employers offer commuter, uh, commuter programs to their, to their employees so their employees can find different options than driving alone. We do that through various programs such as incentives, for carpools, van pools, tri transit programs. We also do challenges and competitions to help foster the uh, education on their options as well as to entice them to try something new and different. Uh, recently, we just uh, completed our 2017 commuter challenge. I'm happy to report we had 15, uh, nearly 1,500 commuters participate. They uh, tracked over 1 million miles in commute alternative modes. So um, our, our engagement with our commuters continues through trying to do education, incentives, and awareness. Um, we also do manage 20 shuttles in San Mateo County, which helps link uh, many commuters from their transit station to their workplace, because sometimes that is just that missed, uh, that missed uh, mile where an employee might not use commute alternatives because they don't want to walk the one to five miles. So our shuttles provide that last mile solution for them. So that's a little bit about us. I'm happy to talk more about other programs that we're working on. Thank you. And I'd like to introduce our next sponsor is Mari from Spare the Air. Thank you, Kim. Um, it's a delight to be here with you today. I have some prepared notes so I don't ramble, which I can tend to do. So, uh, My name is Mari Perman, and I'm the facilitator for the San Mateo County Spare the Air Resource Team. Uh, it's an honor to represent the team here today at this event. The San Mateo County Spare the Air Resource Team is one of nine Spare the Air Resource Teams in the Greater Bay Area and it's part of the Air District's um, community engagement effort. The Air District aims to create a healthy breathing environment for every Bay Area resident while protecting and improving public health, air quality, and the global climate. Team members are volunteers from government, business, and nonprofit sector, thank you, um, who uh, uh, come together and implement, they choose and implement projects to improve Bay Area air quality. Uh, past projects have include alternative ways to get to work conference, a collaboration with Skyline College, and Let's Talk Transportation, a collaboration with the County Office of Sustainability. There's been a lot, lots of others, but those are just a few recent ones. Um, the team's current project is the Active Trips Incentive. Uh, the project focuses on encouraging people to take active trips to events and meetings, uh, such as this event today. And uh, what's an active trip? An active trip is anything other than driving alone. So maybe some of you came by carpooling, uh, transit, or um, maybe you walked or biked. Why encourage active trips at all? At 41%, transportation represents the largest single source of greenhouse gas emissions in the Bay Area. So starting, starting to shift that culture and to take an active trip to meetings and events um, can really help. And it may be easier to shift an active trip to a meeting or event than it is to shift your work uh, commute, you know, how you get to and from work. So if you're interested in um, participating in the project, like this event is today, you can see me um, back at that uh, table, or um, you can find me through the Spare the Air website, uh, the San Mateo team. Um, so it's my honor to represent the San Mateo County Spare the Air resource team today. They've donated a GoPro uh, camera, and Adrian and I will, I think it's in the back. Um, Dee, can I ask you to help me out and grab that GoPro for us while we do this raffle here? So, all right, we want to just get a little pulse of how we did here today um, as far as our trips. And as Mari just explained, this is a, a way to help people rethink your trips. So, how many of you were able to carpool today by a show of hands? Yay. Pretty good. Lots in that back corner. I like it. All right, anybody take transit? <laughs> Transit, just a couple, Caltrain, all right, awesome. Uh, anybody who is close enough that they walked here today down in downtown, awesome, several of you. How about any bikers? I know we had a couple. All right, okay, anybody that, that uh, drove alone? 
Okay, did you do anything else that we haven't already said? You took a, what do you call that, a scooter. <laughs> all right, fantastic. Uh, so thank you all for everybody who was able to shift your commute. And now, without further ado, let's see who's taking home a GoPro. Mari? Ray Hodges. Oh. All right, congratulations. Come on um, we're really glad to uh, help get people out of their cars. I want to touch on a couple other things that Sustainable San Mateo County is working on. We've got a lot going on these days. Um, a quick reminder of a project that we completed last fall as part of our focus on food systems last year. Um, here we are in springtime. You might be thinking about what you're doing with your yard. We have this great resource up on our website called 3Bs that we worked with OpenSMC to put together. It's a, a basically an interactive map that helps you understand by your zoning rules in your local jurisdiction what you're allowed to do when it comes to having birds you know, having some chickens in your yard, um, beekeeping, and uh, growing food. So definitely check that out. Let us know what you think, and uh, hopefully we can uh, continue to encourage people to uh, be growing their food right where they are. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the Community Advocates Leadership Academy. This is a program that uh, Committee for Green Foothills is running, and we are partnering with them on. And basically, this program is a Saturday morning for a couple hours um, for nine or ten months to help educate community members that want to learn how to be more vocal advocates for healthy, sustainable, socially just communities. So if you, like we are, uh, are concerned with what's happening at the national level, um, you know, we see that uh, Trump might be pulling out of Paris, but I know that we here in San Mateo County are not turning back. We are forging ahead. I know I was talking with Kirsten Keith, Menlo Park mayor earlier. She's in the room somewhere. She had a proclamation. Menlo Park is continuing with their commitments, and I know a lot of our other cities are as well. Um, if you're concerned and you want to get involved at the local level where the action really is happening, this is a great way to help learn how to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, right now uh, is application time, so go ahead and sign up for that. Um, we are working on a new initiative that we're calling Pathways to Sustainable Communities. Some of you may have heard about this at our Sustainability Awards Dinner. Um, this is uh, us taking a step back and looking back over those 20 years of indicators reports that we have to see just how far we've come, but also looking forward to see where we're going as an organization and as a community. So we're looking for how successes in the past have been won, um, interviewing local community leaders and advocates uh, to help learn from their successes, and that's actually going to help us build an advocacy platform for our organization going forward. This is going to be a growing part of our work, and we are really excited about uh, learning from the past and planning for the future. And you know, right now is as good a time as any for us to talk about the future of Sustainable San Mateo. Um, we are actually celebrating our 25th anniversary this year. We were founded in 1992 by visionary folks who said, you know, we really have to focus on the long-term health of this community. And uh, I've had people tell me stories about those early years of people thinking that they were kooks. Well, here we are, all are today, and sustainability is a, a topic that everybody's talking about in our community, and we have been in the middle of those conversations all along, and we want to continue to be participating in helping our community learn and make sustainable choices. And so we hope that you will join us, um, and we're going to have a number of programs over the next several months and, and to the end of the year to celebrate the 25th anniversary. And one of those things that we're doing is kicking off a campaign uh, today. So we are asking you today if you can help us raise $25,000 for our 25th. Now, I'm not necessarily assuming you all in the room are going to come up with $25,000 today, but hey, maybe somebody out there has deeper pockets than I suspect and is just waiting for me to ask for them to write me a $25,000 A girl can drink, right? Um, but maybe it's $2,500 or $250 or even just $25. Whatever you can give will help us keep these programs going 
and uh, help us to build our capacity to grow into the future. We have some suggested donation amounts up here that represent important figures for our organization. So maybe one of those will catch your eye and you'll be interested, interested in contributing. You have donation envelopes that were on your chairs. We have a square credit card reader out at registration if you would like to do that. And if you'd like to just discuss with us, um, uh, uh, maybe you have in mind a bigger gift that you'd like to talk with us about, just put your name or a business card in that envelope and we'd be happy to follow up with you. Um, we have our fiscal year ending at the end of June and I'll be honest, we're not quite where we want to be, but we know that we can get there because we believe in all of you and in San Mateo County's commitment to building a sustainable future. So I'm sure you guys are going to help me come through, right? <laughs> all right, so related to this is actually we have a job posting for an administrator and uh, this is made possible by some of our founding members. Um, they're gonna be really embarrassed that I'm calling them out here today, but I think they deserve recognition for this uh, major gift that they are giving to help us make this job possible. Um, so David and Nancy Crabb, uh, some of our founders, uh, you probably all know them and love them. They are some of the most fabulous people in the world, and they are helping us to make this opportunity possible so that we can grow our capacity. Thanks, everybody. 